A bugmaster's biggest dream is not only to turn into a lady after a month by only eating bugs, but also to get foraging to level 10. Welcome back to Project Zomboid, boys. I will attempt to get it at least to 9 today and work very, very hard to get our foraging to level 10. Of course, we need to forage if we are to survive because uh, the bugs, while we still have some, they are slowly running out. So we're gonna need to get some more very soon. But worry not, bugs are not gonna be the only thing that we're gonna be chasing today. No, 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 I have big plans and we're gonna use this car to get to those big plans. We're gonna attempt to get all the good stuff from all those places, but first, let us forage. Seems like we are not alone out here anymore. These roads used to be clear, but seems like we have friends here again. Worry not, we shall take care of all of you. And that is a free hunting knife. You love to see it. Now you see, there's a reason I went in this general direction where I am right now. And that was not to kill that zombie. That was to go further down here where there seems to be like a secret place in there that I have heard about. A secret place deep in the woods that we are gonna explore. If you're playing in the Erie County, this would be the place to make your home. Look, you have a nice fireplace over here. There's a well out here as well. And you have a stove out here. There's a generator as well. The only problem, the road access well is pretty much non-existent. So you would have to chop a lot of trees to make that happen. Thank you for letting me know about this one. It's, it's really cool. And also, there seems to be a priest here. Sounds like there's more than a priest over here. Let us assist whoever is trying to get through here. It's actually a soldier. Hello, sir. What were you doing in here? Oh, now I see. There's some 9mm rounds over here. Or a magazine, I should say. We're not gonna take this revolver because I think we already have one. But we're gonna take the ammo. Oh, they have medicine stored over here. That is actually big we do not have tweezers there's a couple books over here but none of those that we could ever use so looks like we're gonna leave this place very very cool survival base in the middle of nowhere if you are into stuff like that oh look at that level up level 9 foraging you love to see it it was that easy and now all we need is 9,000 more xp and we're level 10. Easy money, right? Let's see how much we get for the centipede. That was 35 XP. You know, it's pretty huge. And how about for this cricket? That was 35 as well. Oh my god, we are over 100 already. Amazing. Our food supply is looking much better. Six caterpillars, eight centipedes, five cockroaches, 19 crickets, five grasshoppers, nine millipedes, nine pill bugs, five termites, and five worms. Let's cook, Jesse. Since I'm a nice guy, I'm gonna finally go and I'm gonna bury these corpses. I'm aware I could bury them all in uh, the same grave, but I think this is gonna look much nicer. Morning has arrived and it's time to spice things up. We're gonna go to this giant railroad depot that has a lot of what seems to be storage areas, as, a, as you guys have said. And I'm gonna go check over there and see if we could potentially, maybe possibly, find some useful tools like a saw. We're just gonna park here on the edge and hope that there's not gonna be too many zeds. But of course, there's always gonna be some. And those we shall take out. Let's see what awaits us in here. It seems pretty empty. Not only it was fully empty of zombies, it was also fully empty of useful loot. The second one wasn't completely empty we found us a propane torch which could come in handy and now we have found some zombies they're nicely dressed i actually like these outfits but i don't think they would fit bug master this place was also empty besides two torches that we could uh, disassemble for electrical xp speaking of which our electrical xp is actually doing pretty nicely we are closing in on that level one but we still need like Maybe 15 more watches, if not more than that. But hey, there's three right here. We're gonna try to get into this building. It seems to be some kind of a administrative building that might have some storage as well. Unfortunately, it does seem like we're gonna have to bust our way in here. Looks like there's still two workers left over here that didn't get the memo that it's a zombie apocalypse. But let's be real, who am I to judge them? At least I was hoping they're gonna leave some good loot behind, but they did not. Looks like upstairs there's not much here here as well so we're gonna be uh, leaving this place now although it doesn't look like everybody wants us to leave this lady wanted a piece of bug monster and broke his spear 
That just racism, lady. This is the last place here that I wanted to check out and it seems like we're gonna have to fight for it with some of the employees over here. Or should I say former employees. They all have leather gloves, which is kind of useful. Although we do have some gloves that are actually better than the leather ones. The tactical gloves have even better protection. Looks like there's some guardians on the inside as well. And they were guarding an absolutely empty place. I was trying to be smart and attract a couple of zombies and it seems like I have attracted many more than just a couple and now well I guess we are stuck fighting all of these many more than just a couple but it seems like the spears are doing its work and I don't need to worry at all in the end there's just a pile of digital watches and looks like we have a couple more in here as well and they did drop a house key which is exactly what I wanted there seems to be more storage in here so that house key is gonna come very useful unfortunately it seems like it does not work for these doors even though we are in the same house technically that's kind of crappy even a nice big storage area like this has absolutely nothing what is there not to love so in the end this place was a whole lot of disappointment and not much else time to go back home oh we're gonna we're gonna do a quick stop over here because i have seen a police officer with a shotgun and if he's got some extra shells i want them he definitely's got six in there oh nice looks like he's got reinforcements uh we didn't agree to that zombies so if you could just please not do that that would be great more reinforcements that's fine i got a magnum off of the police officer as well so you know what this was kind of worth it i want to see if we can actually hit this guy i'm gonna wait for him to get closer come closer buddy come come oh let's go our dinner is cooked bug monster has also cleaned himself in the river and now he's fresh nice and clean he's gonna read a magazine for that stress reduction and then it's gonna probably time to go to bed level 10 foraging is as i said before one of our major goals so now that we have unsuccessfully tried to find some loot let's actually go to where we can actually find some loot and that is gonna be foraging look at the search radius around him this is this is beautiful <laughs> he can see half of the map away and he can search for it that's that's awesome and find some delicious centipedes well we are one ninth of the way now after searching for most of the morning <laughs> that's that seems that seems good so i have noticed that whenever we find an animal like a rat or something like that even though it's rare we get a lot more xp for it and since we are basically just trying to get to level 10 right now and we have quite a few of insects already stored i'm gonna try looking for some animals since over here they're supposed to be common so two in-game hours later the only thing we have found was a snail or i should say the only animal we have found was a snail otherwise nothing special so that's kind of unfortunate i was hoping we could get a bit of a xp buff from finding more animals but you know even though they're common they're clearly more rare than insects that we have been finding all the time so we're back to our delicious bugs finding mushrooms and berries seems to be the same amount of xp as finding insects so i don't think it's worth trying to search for those so i think insects is still gonna continue being our focus because let's be real this is a bug monster we're talking about and bug monster knows exactly what he wants to find man only want one thing and it's fucking disgusting and well in bug monster's case it actually is disgusting it's getting later in the day and bug monster returns and actually finds a caterpillar just waiting outside his base you love to see that but otherwise he is getting closer to 4000 xp so getting getting really nice and cozy there just a day or two more foraging and he's gonna be at max level where he well let's be real belongs just look at our collection 20 caterpillars, 14 centipedes, 14 cockroaches, 11 crickets, 6 grasshoppers, 4 maggots, 13 millipedes, 7 pillbugs, 2 slugs, 1 snail, 7 termites, and 6 
worms. We're going to be eaten like kings. We're going to need to eat like kings because we're down to 66. Wait now. Morning comes again and let's all be real. The insects are not going to be finding themselves. We still have to get quite a lot of XP to get our forging all the way up to level 10. And I intend to do that right now. So let's get back to searching. Oh, looks like we have found another frog. Well, frog legs were delicious last time. We're not gonna ditch this one. Unfortunately, this tropical rainstorm that is starting to happen over here is not really helping our uh, vision effectiveness. Our search radius is 20% smaller because of all of this crazy rain that's happening right now. Preventing Bugmaster from finding all the delicious bugs he deserves to find, but it does seem like he has found some other kinds of bugs. Zombies are spawning back here on the railway and Bugmaster is gonna have none of that. I still think that uh, going for insects is the best way to level up foraging right now. You get 35 after you pick it up or discard it and you get like 11 or 12 XP. So around almost 50 XP per each insect you find. And you do seem to be finding a lot more insects than whatever else you might be looking for. So insect farming is totally the way to go to level up your foraging. You heard it here first, folks. Look at that, halfway to level 10. XP wise, you get the same for mushrooms and berries and all that stuff. But still, insects, dudes, insects, they're the best. Maybe if I did switch my search focus and just went for mushrooms and berries and something like that maybe it would be the same but so far the insects have been working extremely well for me you do seem to get more for finding something like potatoes and onions you get like 10 more xp than insects but they are much rarer it seems looks like we have found some more zombies on the railway and also a broken car that i will check out oh yes maggots nice well the car has nothing so those maggots are the best thing we have gotten from this ah this is so peaceful just a man and a vast forest and a dream of many bugs a man a forest a dream and Advertise here! <laughs> well, that would be kind of cool. Uh, anybody has an advertisement for me? If you if you do, well, you can you can add it in here into this video right now. Ooh, let's go! But as you can clearly see, a man can go insane from just walking around and foraging for days and hours and days. No wonder Ambi started doing philosophy while he was doing weird stuff like this. We are leaving proof that clearly you have to be a bit cracked to become a YouTuber. And maybe the more cracked you are, the more successful you can become. But there is at least one thing that Bugmaster is already very, very successful at. Yeah, you guessed it. It's foraging. Foraging and bug lore, of course. But at foraging, he is 6,000 out of 9,000 XP done to get to that level 10 that we all desire. Is it extremely boring just walking around picking stuff up? Yes. Yes, it is. But I have played many, many thousands of hours of MMO games. And let's just say that I have gotten used to long and tedious grinds so this this right here this is easy mode and it will not break me just the same as these zombies will not break me actually they do not care about me so that's even better let's go onwards oh but it is so dark that i have managed to run into another group without seeing these and they are behind me hey yeah 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 none of that sir not of that. The heavy rain and the search mode, it, it kinds of, you know, it kind of dulls your senses and then you can't see them right in front of your nose. Soon our bag will be full of various bugs and we're gonna have to go back home. And of course, it is also getting kind of late in the day. Besides the fact that it has been raining the whole day and Bugmaster is slightly moist. His outfit does provide some protection against water and wetness and all that stuff, but clearly not enough. We could have made a poncho, but I could never find that needle 
All we needed was a needle, and then we could level up our tailoring and make a poncho. Alas, with ridiculously rare loot, it was not meant to be. So, he has to stay wet, and let's wash ourselves, because this thing is finally full again. Tonight we shall dine on nice sliced frog. Nothing better than a nice frog stew. Oh god, that sounds so wrong. Might have eaten too much. <laughs> the man, the poor man, is in severe pain now, and we're kind of running out of painkillers. I probably should not have eaten the full stir fry, but I, you know, I kind of, kind of forgot about this pain. And at the same time, I wanted to keep him from losing weight. He's down to 65 now. Oh man, poor guy. Less than 2,000 XP remains. Less than 2,000 that we need. It is slightly foggy, but today's the day we get to level 10 in foraging. Let's do this. Let's go find ourselves some insects. If you ever doubted Bugmaster's mastery over bugs, doubt him no more because he just found some twine. <laughs> nice. I can't believe how this series became all about foraging for bugs and trying not to starve. Trying really hard not to starve. While well, it was supposed to be about Bugmaster transformation into the bravest woman in America. Caitlyn Jenner. And of course, we found some more <laughs> nails somehow while searching for insects. Nice. I, saw, I have also found a trap that... I guess it was meant for me by a zombie. Did you try to trap me, zombie? That's that's an interesting way to do it. I'll actually take this trap box. We can't really use it, of course, but I'll keep it. Looks like more trap masters around here. And we are now officially over the 8,000 XP mark, which means less than 1,000 XP remaining to get to level 10 in foraging. And let me remind you, I have never read any of the foraging books or watched any of the shows that would give me bonus XP. But I did start at level 3 foraging. And the 125% XP boost that that gives you was of course a huge contributor that we managed to get this far. We are on less than 500 needed now. That will be less than 400 needed now. Less than 300 needed. Now we are on less than 200 needed. Less than 100 needed XP. And ladies and gentlemen, this is gonna do it. Let's freaking go. We are at level 10 forging the Bugmaster reign supreme and you might ask what are you gonna do with that level 10 forging and the unlimited power you gain from that well what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna walk all the way to the road i'm gonna search for trash i'm gonna find all the best things ever trust me i was promised the trash will be abundant actually no it's gonna be common the trash is gonna be common Yet all I found was one teacup on this road and I've been walking it for hours. So you know what? Just screw your road. I'm going home. Now, tomorrow, we're gonna just have four days remaining to reach our goal. Four days remaining to become Caitlyn Jenner. And I think with four days remaining, that will fit into one episode. So the next one is gonna be a lot more action-packed than these last two have been. I intend to go and uh, go just visit some of the towns that are exist out here in Erie County that we have not visited before. And who knows, maybe finally I'll find that elusive saw that I could never find before. We don't need to just use spears when we go there, of course, to town. We can also use our shotgun and maybe magnum and other weapons weapons that we have. And also, maybe you could have some fun with some Molotov cocktails. I think three will be quite enough. We have just a bit more than four days remaining. And hopefully Bugmaster does not lose too much weight in that process. But after those four days, he will finally become a lady he deserves to be. Thank you for watching.